Hello everybody, welcome back to the Golden Goblet Escape from Tarkov edition. On today's game, do I have a... <laughs> is it a silencer? Come on. On today's, uh, today's raid, we are going to the woods. And I'll tell you... I don't know anything about woods, but I had a, I had a hunch. My hunch is, if you want to be the best at Tarkov, you gotta dress like a Tarkov character, okay? This... I'm ready. You! Stop moving. Would you like to help? Need some help! Like, okay, are you looking at my man's... Is he, is he wearing Comtex? It's crazy, dude. I feel like that's a really good get for a scav. Now, I will tell you. I don't know anything about woods. I have the map open on my other monitor because I'm given this an honest to goodness college try, okay? But um, woods has a large lake at the north edge of the map. This large lake provides us a very, very good indicator of where we are. Um, if we don't spawn near the lake, which is very plausible, We'll just pick a direction that appears to have a wall. And if the wall is there, we can reorient ourselves and figure out where we are. So a number uh, of people have mentioned, hey NL, why don't you refrain from starting the video until the matching is done? That would be misrepresentative of my Escape from Tarkov experience. As a result, I refuse. I refuse. Plus... Oh, we're in, boys! Never mind! For all of my snarky comments, we have made it into a Tarkov game. <laughs> well, let's say under three minutes, because we got another, you know, they've still got to await the session start and the etc. and the etc. But that's a really good time. They did have an update today. Again, people... Oh my god, we're in and we spawned at the, at the lake, dude. I think this is UN Roadblock. Um, relax. <laughs> Shooting so close. Old station. Can I tell you something? Old station is just south of us. You think those are at me? They do sound close, but I am wearing headphones. Ladies and gentlemen, w this could be an ex-fillable situation. So I hate uh, everything I'm hearing here for certain. I'm definitely also silhouetting myself against the wall. But uh, I'm gonna try. Stay frosty, okay? Just getting an X-Fill. It's pure game theory, okay? It does allow us a chance at a victory. It's a ticket in the lottery for the first time. So yes. If I can escape by doing this, I will escape by doing this. But let's not count our chickens. We have a very long way to go. First, apparently we have to pass by something called Crater. And then we're almost there. I do have to level with you, though. I kind of hate wearing the headphones. Just specifically because... I, uh... I can hear too much. <laughs> I don't like to hear this much. It makes me a little... Anxious. Like, I don't know how close those shots were, because I had amplification devices on. But just take a deep breath. Quell your anxiety. And, I mean, if we die, what else is new, right? If we don't die, it will be a good meme. I mean, do you really think I want to get involved with that? I have, like, a little pea shooter here. And some Sennheisers. 
Are you you're not crater? I am starting to second guess whether I'm on the right side of the map, but I bet I am, dude. That's that's too clompy. That we're clomping too much. Just have patience. I also very much enjoy playing Tarkov as if it's a walking simulator instead of a high octane shooter, which is what we've experienced here. Keep it going. And I want to come up with a strategy, okay? Because previously I haven't talked strategy, and when we get into an engagement, I have to think about what to do, and I think that's a problem. Here's my strategy. If I see someone, we do not hesitate. We tap them. Even if they're a scav. That's my new strat. No more thinking about what's right, okay? Our new strat is just to go. Tap them ASAP. Live with the consequences. Or at least try to tap them ASAP. Please tell me you are old station. Factory gate. What the heck? Brother, what the heck is factory gate? That's not even on this map. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, never, never fear. I mean, old station... Was like right next to factory on this map. So I'm very scared now. But let's just keep moving. What's our other one? Outskirts. Get low. <laughs> as low as I can go. Outskirts. Outskirts is the exact opposite side of the map. So I'm starting to tell I'm starting to be a little afraid. That perhaps we're using an older version of the map. But all I can really do is keep moving and hoping that I'm wrong. Because that to me, I see a smokestack. That to me looks like a factory. I will say, with 12 minutes remaining... Realistic chance we might be light on time. Everything sounds so crisp. I don't know, boys. I have hit a gate. Of some sort. The gate says evac. Is there any chance you are old station? <laughs> okay, Kona in the chat, please. It says evac. Don't hurt me. Please let me go. Doors are welded shut. Maybe this is UN roadblock. Which would mean that old station is just a little bit ahead. <laughs> One moment, please. It is, dude! Okay. I was actually, I had us on the wrong side of the map. I don't know if anybody even cares, but we're walking south. We will move past something called Crater. I do hate that this area on the map is called PVE Woods. And if we just hug the wall. Th this looks like a, it could be a crater to me, dude. 
I don't like looking at it. It makes me nauseous. Texture, textures, they're freaking me out. Just keep going. Hug the wall, baby. And old station should not be too far away with 10 minutes remaining. You can't see that, and also you can't see my exfils, but just trust me on that one. Use, use an inference. I wouldn't lie to you. So that must be... I mean, is that a factory? Certainly it has a train leading to it. Can we squeeze? No. Too many cheese slices. <laughs> Too much to Shanka. Okay, I see a gap in the fence. I am heart heart rate stable. Slightly elevated, 90 BPM. But not panicked. We're not freaking yet. Do it. Good stuff, brother. Try not to walk over all the exposed brick. Clear. <laughs> Ladies. And gentlemen, there are those who said it could not be done. <laughs> With a perfect game, we have exfiltrated from a map we did not know. Boris Fonar, I will not forget you. So what's what do you do now? Um, I believe, hold on. We have to transfer all the stuff, and I mean all the stuff. So let's just put it in scav corner. I don't think I don't know the scabbard might sell for like ten. <laughs> one point two two one kilometers walked through the woods. Could this be a golden goblet performance? I'm just I'm I'm overjoyed. That at least I'm going to put down a score today. At least it's not a total disaster. Now I will remind you of the rules because it's been a while. Everything has to be sold to fence. Okay? So my current stash value, or my current cash, is 274,450. 274,450. 274,450. Two seven four four five zero two seventy four four fifty, and then I have to uh, remove this, or I have to remove the stuff from this. I should say, like so. It's a real waste. People in Tarkov hate when you sell things to uh, fence, but it's I think the fairest way to gauge our scores if we're gonna go by money exclusively. I know you can just hit like alt maybe and send them over. There you go. 296820. So if you'll allow me to bring up the old calculator. 296820. 296820 minus 274 450. Now I'm like, was it 274 or was it 247? I think it was 274. All right, so that's a 20. 2.37 thousand ruble run. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one lottery ticket. That is not good for the record. That is not a good score, but it is a score I will take. I also have now noticed we will be taking our next scav into factory with uh, a sniper rifle. But anyway, thank you for joining me on another episode of Russian Walking Simulator. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Of course, go watch Dan and Mouse Perspectives. You never know. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you next time for day five. See ya!